What's up everybody? We are back again with another grocery haul. And this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I did go to Sam's yesterday while I was in town and it was pouring rain, which I'm so thankful for. We have needed rain so badly, you just don't even know. But it was pouring rain and also this past weekend was tax-free weekend for school supplies, which is like clothing, shoes, backpacks, school supplies, tech stuff like computers, that kind of thing. So Sam's was like packed out yesterday. It was an absolute madhouse in there because you know they have tech and they have all the school supplies and clothes and stuff like that. So they were like completely nuts yesterday. So I did not film that. Um, I just ran in there to get paper towels, like paper products, those kinds of things. Um, and wait as much as I could on the food because starting today, as of when I'm filming this, this is August 1st. If you live in Tennessee like I do, August 1st through the 31st, the whole month of August is gonna be tax-free on food and food ingredients. But it does not include pre-prepared pre meals, so like restaurants, and I would imagine like meals that are pre-done like in the deli section or something like that. Um, gas station type meals, vending machines. It also does not include candy I saw. Um, what else did it not include? Tobacco products, alcoholic beverages, and what was the other thing? Dietary supplements. It's so like vitamins, things like that. But if it's like ingredients in food items like canned goods, staples like sugar, flour, oats, milk. So we are about to come in here today to Walmart and get what I need food wise. And we are going to do a challenge video for the month of August. I'm gonna keep up um, what I saved. And then I'm gonna show you how you can stock up if your state does something like this to maybe eat if you don't already have a food storage start one um or just bulk up what you do have already because with gas prices like they are inflation like it is and the truckers not running as often as they are um we're looking at a possible food shortage so i'm preparing for my family i just hope maybe some of this could help you prepare your family just in case i hope and pray it doesn't happen but History is there for a reason for us to learn from it. So let's go in here and see what we can find. You know, Walmart doesn't really have sales, but we can see what we have can get here that's a better price than at Kroger. And then we're going over to Kroger because there's a couple of things that are cheaper at Kroger and we're gonna check the sales there, okay? And then at the end of August, I'm gonna try to keep up with it each time I go to the store and I'm gonna let you know how much did I save by getting something on sale or with a coupon or both, plus what I would have spent on taxes that we didn't because it's tax free. And let's see if my efforts are worth it at the end of the month. So let's go. First things first, we have to get my coffee. At Kroger, it's like $15. So. And I need peanut butter. I just opened the last one off out of our food shortage, our food storage. So I'm gonna grab two because it's tax free. We won't go through two in a month's time, and I'd rather get it now than later. This is our favorite ranch we go through ranch a lot and it's cheaper here than it is at Kroger so I'm gonna grab two of these always good to stock up on pasta and I am out of macaroni completely I'm good on other things but I do need some macaroni also I'm out of gum so I'm gonna grab this because the three pack of 14 sticks is cheaper than the eight pack of 14 sticks so do your math, because you cannot keep her this way. Just opened the last vegetable oil. Why are all these bus, I mean, look at that. Look at all of them. How do you pour that? Okay. All right, sweetener, probably should get to. Okay, I saw a recipe on Pinterest for brownie cookies, okay? And they look amazing. Okay. 
and it says it calls for bittersweet chocolate chips now I don't see anything in this whole section that says anything about bittersweet so I'm just gonna go with semi-sweet and hope that that works so we're gonna try them because they look yummy okay one tip if you are going to stock up on food because maybe you are concerned about food shortages maybe what if we go into another depression something like that this is going to be one thing that i highly recommend that you get especially when it's a tax-free and you can stock up i'm not going to get these here because i got some at sam's yesterday um you didn't see that but we were low we get them the bulk the quaker brand bulk at sam's and it's a really good deal and colson eats them like crazy but these are great you can grind them into a flour like like you saw with the um, dog treats you can and use oat flour on all kinds of recipes you can make just plain old oatmeal you can make cookies out of them there's a lot of things you can do that is a great staple to have they last forever in the pantry and as long as they're in a cool dry place what does it say november the 9th of next year over a year from now so that's definitely something to think about if you were trying to stock up I don't know what the deal is, but yesterday at Sam's, this was one of the things I went to Sam's specifically for yesterday was some Persil for um, the laundry because I use this for Jason's uniforms. It is the only thing that will semi get them clean and get the grease out. Um, and I just used the very last of it yesterday, actually. So I have to get it here because Sam's did not have it. It was a better price at Sam's. You got a much bigger... Um, I think it was over 200 ounces at Sam's, and this one is um, 150 ounces, but I don't have a choice. I have to get it here. Okay, also at Sam's yesterday, online, Sam said that they had this toothpaste, which is what the kids use when I mix up their their um, toothpaste and mouthwash together. This is what the kids use, and um, that's not even where it belongs. They did not have any at Sam's. At Sam's, it was a five pack and it was a much better price than this, getting it here, but they didn't have it. So I don't have a choice. However, this one is a dollar. This one is a dollar 67. So a dollar for 2.5 ounces, that's a tiny tube. Dollar sixty-seven for six ounces, forty cents an ounce, twenty-seven cents an ounce. This one is a better deal. I'm not sure how much the three pack is. Oh, three ninety-six. So it's twenty-two cents an ounce. So this one is going to be my best bet. So we're going to get this here. It's a shame I couldn't get it for better price at Sam's cream cheese it is the cheapest in a two pack from walmart versus the two pack from kroger so i'm gonna grab some of these without some strawberry cream cheese. Yes, please. All right, time to go to Kroger now. Not a lot to get in here, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time. Just gonna go in here and get what we need, check the sales, check the clearance, and get home. I have not seen this brand, but that is an excellent price for this size can. And canned goods are part of the um, tax-free. All of these seem to be diced tomatoes. I wish they had some crushed tomatoes. But nevertheless, these are just plain diced. So you can season them however you want. Whether it's chili or um, Italian, what have you. So I'm going to grab some of these. Okay, I need mustard. The um, 20, or sorry, that's 14 ounces for 79 cents. And the Kroger brand is 99 cents for 20 ounces. And per ounce cost, this is cheaper than that. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these 20 ounce. Mustard lasts a really long time. So stock up on your, on your food 
hot storage on your condiments while you can. I'm pretty good on mayonnaise. I think I have four, maybe five mayonnaise. Um, and then I got ketchup, like three, the three pack of the great big ones at ketchup at Sam's yesterday. So that should stock me up for a while. Okay, brown sugar, I only buy it here and I only buy the Kroger brand because I bought the Domino brand at Walmart and come to find out, it's not as dark as the Kroger brand one. It looks like it is, but when I dumped it in my container on top of some of this that was already there, it was definite, definite difference. So I only get it from the Kroger brand and it's cheaper than Domino anyways. $3.49, $2.99. And I'm down to one bag, so I need to stock up on this. Also down to about this much left of maple syrup, and we use this one. It is per ounce price much better than getting it at Sam's or at Walmart, the Walmart brand. So we need that because Colson eats it on his oatmeal every single morning. I put some of that dark brown sugar that you just saw me get and a little small swirl of that and he gets brown sugar and maple syrup oatmeal every morning because this is what he was eating. This is the only flavor he will eat. He will not eat this. He will not eat that or the peaches and cream, you know, fruit and cream. He only eats this. So I just put the brown sugar and maple syrup in it myself, and it's a whole lot cheaper than $1.69 for four bowls of oh. I told you I would keep you updated on these right here that I tried. Not a fan. Not on my list, but it is on sale and it is tax-free and she is low. So I'm gonna grab Bailey some popcorn. Okay, so I'm in the clearance. And I don't know anything about this brand, but here's Old Fashioned Oats and Quick Oats. And they're marked down to 99 cents from $1.99. And they're good until, this is November of next year. September of next year. So I'm going to get them for 99 cents. And then I got this one here. So Quick until November of next year. So maybe they're just doing away with this brand. They're not gonna carry this brand anymore. I don't know. But we eat the Quick Oats. That's what I was just telling you that I get at Sam's. That's the Quaker. And then Old Fashioned I use for like cookies and things like that. But I don't necessarily cook the Old Fashioned Oats. So I don't really need a lot. But there's, here's these. But these are great pantry staples to have on hand for 99 cents and tax free. Okay, see, now at Kroger, they are on sale if you have the digital coupon for $1.49, but they're normally $2.49 for that same size box that I just bought at Walmart for the kids in a three-pack. So it was still cheaper to get it over there. But while I was there, I forgot that Jason and I need some as well. So I'm just going to grab this down here on the bottom for $1.49. Grab these. Why are these two different sizes? I need to make sure I got the right one. Six ounce, six ounce, these, not that one goes there. Okay. Okay, I need cheeses and they are $7.49 here, but they are $7.48 at Walmart. So I'm not gonna worry about the penny because I want the fuel points. So I'm gonna get these here. Plus tax free every little bit. All right, we need some milk and it was actually more expensive to get it at Sam's this time, which was shocking. Here at my Kroger is $3.99 a gallon, but for some reason the Kroger by the church building is $3.79 a gallon. So I'm gonna wait until Wednesday to get milk. Okay, here is my small Walmart haul. Um, we don't really need a whole lot of groceries this time, so I only got a few things that we do need. Um, like I said, I did go to Sam's yesterday. I didn't film it. Um, it wasn't anything exciting anyway. So at Walmart, I got Persil because Sam's did not have it. I got vegetable oil because I just opened my last one of those jugs. I got elbow macaroni because I have a decent amount of other pastas. I don't have macaroni. I used the last or I emptied the last of my sweetener this morning into my sweetener container. Grabbed two of those. I grabbed two ranch because we are completely out of ranch dressing. I grabbed a coffee, um, the toothpaste for the kiddos, and then some Orbit gum because the kids have chewed mine all up. 
And then I have two peanut butters because I just opened the last one of those out of the storage. And then I grabbed this bread for a friend of mine, this keto bread. I don't do keto, but she does. And I saw that it was on the markdown rack. So I texted her and asked if she want some. And she said, yes, could I please grab that for her because it was $2.43 off. And then I got the two, two packs of regular cream cheese to stock up on. I got this strawberry cream cheese to go on these bagels. I got some cinnamon raisin bagels as well and four loaves of bread. So that's what I got from Walmart. Okay, and here is my small Kroger haul. I got the box of popcorn because it was on sale and tax free. Um, the maple syrup or pancake syrup is technically not maple for breakfasts, the toothpaste, the brown sugar, mustards, these oats that I found on the clearance, these new um, brand of diced tomatoes that I've never seen before that were 50 cents a can, which I have never seen that size can of tomatoes for that price. So I'm gonna try them and see if I like them. And if so, then I may go back and get more. Um, that jug drink dispenser, I used to have one that was glass and I shattered it by accident. So this one was on closeout because it was a summer item. And it was typically, I think originally $27. So I got it for $10 on the closeout, but that includes the, I guess it's six cups and then those great big ice cubes. Um, so I thought that might be useful for us. And then I got the three blocks of cheese um, that, you know, y'all know I shred the cheese myself. So that's my tiny little Kroger haul for right now. I'm gonna take everything upstairs and show you my food storage room. This is where I'm storing things. This house apparently does not have attic space. Um, it has two quote-unquote attics but they are even smaller than this right here i mean just about the size of my shower where you can walk in and stand there and shut the door and that's it so half of it this half of this closet is like storage things books you know the christmas tree carpet shampoo etc wrapping serving dishes things that we don't use all the time, but I'm not gonna get rid of them. The other half is where I have started my food storage. So in this little bin, I have like soups. So I've got the broccoli cheese. I have two of those. I only have one left of cream of chicken. So that's gonna be one thing that I keep my eye on for it to go on sale this, this month while there's no tests. And then Jason had bought this four pack of chicken noodle back when he was sick several months ago. And then I finally, finally, yesterday at Sam's, found parsley. So I grabbed two because I'm super low. And then you're wondering what this is. This is sage that I have dried and I've saved it. This is what will be used at Thanksgiving in our dressing. And I need to get more sage. And then I have like some condiment type things. I got Bailey her applesauce. One of them is already downstairs in the refrigerator. Yesterday at Sam's, I got the two pack of this grape jelly. One of them is already in the refrigerator. Um, then I think before at Sam's, I had gotten the two pack of the Smucker's strawberry. One of those is in the refrigerator. Yesterday at Sam's, I grabbed this pack of ketchup because I had taken the last one downstairs to the refrigerator. And then those three strawberry jams are homemade. My mama made those for us and sent them home with us. So we have those. And then you saw the last Kroger haul, the marineras that I got for super cheap just to have in this food storage. I was down to one mustard. You just saw me get these two at Kroger. I got this at Sam's. It was like a 12 pack, I think, down to one. So I need to get those this month. Sweet relish. Um, I probably need to stock up on that because I only have one. I was right, I did have four mayonnaise. You just saw me buy those two ranch dressings at Walmart just now. I need to stock up on barbecue sauce because I'm down to these two. I was wrong. I did have two, these two peanut butters still up here, but hey, I just bought these two also. And you just saw me buy all of these at Kroger. These come from Sam's. Um, I'm low-ish on corn, so I'll probably grab one of those this month. I just got this recently and I still have one from the one before it. I just bought these recently and I have a few of them back here. 
the individuals from the case before and you just saw me get these at Kroger one crushed tomatoes left so I definitely need to stock up on these I have just bought paste so I don't need any of that over here in this corner I have my pans that I get from Sam's I make cinnamon rolls in those take freezer meals uh, this is like the paper section over here I've got the pans Kleenex cases of bottled waters I just got this yesterday at Sam's because all the bread that I buy at Sam's and portion it out when Jason goes and gets ground beef we portion it out and so we go through a lot of freezer bags I just bought this yesterday at Sam's because they were on sale still and I'm down to almost almost a half a pack I also bought this yesterday at Sam's because I'm almost halfway through that one. Then on this bottom shelf here, we have the drinks here. I have tea bags back in the back. I'm probably about to pull these out soon. I'm so excited because those are my fall um, flavored like pumpkin spice and um, pumpkin cinnamon roll syrups for my coffee. And then I always, always, always keep a bottle of grape juice for anytime someone gets the stomach bug. Um, then uh, these have been on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. So I've been grabbing those and stocking up on those. These I found on clearance at Kroger. And then here I had opened some of those fruit snacks. You just saw me buy this gum and there were some boxes of raisins. And then these are like the crackers. I had bought these on the clearance, these on clearance, these at Sam's. And then here's like my pasta collection. You just saw me buy these two elbows. And then back there I've got some rotini, some bow tie, some ziti, uh, penne, and another penne. You know, so I just try to keep them sitting to where I can see what the label is. This actually needs to go downstairs because I'm low in my container in the pantry. And then I've got a thing of self-rising flour, which I rarely ever use self-rising. Um, I bought this. It was a two-pack at Sam's recently. One of them is downstairs. And then this little bin is kind of like my baking. It has my brown sugar, spray, sweetener, cornstarch. I bought these at Sam's recently. It was a two-pack of baking powder and the great big thing of cocoa. And then you saw me get these probably on a previous haul at Walmart. Um, and like Eagle Bread Milk. And then there's some cake mixes and brownie mixes that I had got on sale and then down here is a thing of flour I just opened one of these big 25 pound bags of flour but I'm probably while it's tax-free going to go ahead and grab another one at Sam's this month this is rice that I bought it was a 20 pound bag I believe of rice at Sam's and this is the container that I keep it in and so it's a little low I probably will grab another one of those you just saw me buy this oil. This is the oats that I was telling you about that I get at Sam's. I just got that one yesterday because I'm down to this one bag in this one. This needs to go downstairs as well. Just bought this coffee and I still have these K cups because I do have a Keurig. I just don't use it all the time. So that's kind of my food storage for the dry shelf stable things. Um, and I do follow the FIFO method. So for those of you who don't know, it's FIFO, F-I-F-O. It stands for first in, first out. So you want to check your dates. Whichever date comes first, that's what needs to be at the first of the shelf. So that that's the first one that comes out. So the first one that goes in, it's going to be the first one that comes out. These peanut butters, I had these two. I just bought these two. So these went in the back and I moved these front, if that makes sense. The same with the mayonnaise and so on. So that's my food storage for upstairs. I will do um, a pantry and freezer or something if you guys want. Um, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.